Alright, so what I'm trying to do real quick is replace my feed line with a new one I got off of Amazon. It's actually like uh, like five inches or maybe six inches shorter because this one has a lot of extra slack. It kind of had to like have to go around and back in this one. It's like five inches shorter, so it might be like a straighter shot. Might be a little cleaner. But yeah, I got this. I'm going to try to put it on real quick. Actually, be able to drive it because it's been parked for like a week ever since I messed up this line. So, alright, I'm going to get to it. Alright, got my jack stand and my uh, floor jack on both sides of the car. And uh, let me show you this little kit I got. It was actually cheaper to uh, get it this way. It came with a new line. Let me see. Yeah, Alright, so the new, I think, 36, 36 inch line. New uh, restrictor plate, gasket. Even has like the T fitting and the plug and adapter and all that if, you, if you're going to change the back of the block which I'm not, I already have the sandwich plate so I don't need any of that I'm just going to use reuse the line that's all I need, hope it's not too short actually hmm. I don't know, alright I'm going to crawl in there and get to it that's the oil leaking from my uh, jacked up feed line But alright, be right back yeah, this thing's pretty yucky this is where it got all burnt and actually put a hole in it somewhere. Oil was actually uh, flowing down, basically soaking the turbo and dripping down the bottom. Oop, got on the exhaust. But yeah, it's pretty yucky. So, easier to undo the top, and I'm gonna crawl underneath and undo it from the sandwich plate. All right, so it's kind of being a pain in the ass. I was trying to like undo it from the bottom above the uh, oil filter since it has a sandwich plate. And of course, I don't have a filter wrench and the filter is too freaking tight to break loose without screwing it up. I was able to like crack it loose, so I'm just gonna rotate the line from the top and just undo it like this. And oh wow, that was that was fast. All right, be awesome if I could uh, thread it on the same way, kind of like get a straight shot and twist the hose and then tighten it up from underneath. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying my best, trying to straight to uh, straighten out the section right here, so I can kind of stick it straight down through the manifold and thread it in like the uh, like the other one was, but. Yeah, if I bend any more, it kind of feels like it wants to kink a little bit, so I'm not going to force it. It's uh, better than what it was. It was kind of like round up, but... Alright, I'm going to stick it in there, right in that hole, right there, and try to money shot it in there, so... Alright, get it off camera, and I will be back. It was like way easier than it should have been. I don't know what happened. I just first try, I got it in there. So I can uh, show you all the sandwich plate down there. Yeah, so I got it right there into the sandwich plate. You can see the, uh, what is that, the brass fitting down there. Just stuck it straight down, twisted the line, threaded it in there. Super easy, easier than I was expecting it to be. And it looks like even though it was supposed to be shorter than my other line, it looks like the same thing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it on the bottom on the sandwich plate, thread it into the turbo, and finally be able to make a pull after like a week at least. Alright, so I got it tight on the turbo, got it threaded into the sandwich plate and tight. And this time around, I have the excess kind of hanging out the back here instead of uh, in the front. Got a little bit more of a gap between here and the uh, dump tube than I did last, uh, last time, but I still want to shield it somehow. Put some, like, some sort of insulation or something, but uh, yeah, I'll figure that out later. But yep, now I'm going to put a legitimate cap on this T and guess I'll make a pull. It's, it's pretty cool weather today, so, or tonight. This should pull pretty good. So I got it all put back together, and what I'm gonna do is let it idle for like a minute or two. Uh, I don't know, just to make sure the oil fills up that feed line. I remember the first time we, we put this together, it actually took uh, like four turns or something to fill up that feed line. So I'm gonna let it sit, idle, just for a minute or two, that's probably all it needs, and then I'm gonna do a pull. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see what it does. Which is going to be the exact same thing, but I just want to floor it, basically. Yeah, it feels nice. Man, I miss driving this car. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.